This was how they introduced the bill in the House of Representatives. For thousands of years in human history, we have recognized as a species that there are women and there are men. Yet over the last several years, there has been a perversion in our culture by the enemy. And the left has completely embraced the lie to erase the lines of gender and to convince you there isn't really gender and that gender is fluid and can be whatever you want, whenever you want. Again, more lies. There has been a perversion in our culture by the enemy and the left completely embraced the lie. That was Republican Congressman Greg Stube yesterday introducing the first national bill to ban transgender kids from participating in sports using their preferred gender identity. Today, the Republican-controlled House of Representatives passed that bill with all Republicans voting yes and all Democrats voting no. Complete party unity on taking the war on transgender Americans and going national with it. To some degree, this shouldn't be surprising to anyone who's been paying attention to what Republicans have been doing at the state level. Across the country, Republicans have basically given up on the idea of small government. Instead, they now aim to expand the power of the state to coercively reshape society in their preferred mold. In Kentucky, Republican lawmakers banned the teaching of sex ed and any discussion of puberty at all until sixth grade. In Tennessee, Republican lawmakers passed a bill this week that would punish book publishers who sell any book to a school library that Tennessee Republicans deem to be obscene. Today, the Texas State Senate passed a bill that would force every public school in the state to prominently display the Ten Commandments in every classroom. In Iowa, a group of Republicans has introduced a bill to outlaw marriage equality despite the Supreme Court ruling that made it the law of the land in all 50 states. It's precisely those kinds of bills that are intended for the conservative majority on the Supreme Court should they decide they want to reverse that landmark decision. In Idaho, the governor has signed the nation's first abortion trafficking law. Not only is it illegal to get an abortion in Idaho, but driving a minor across state lines to obtain an abortion in a state where it is legal Doing that could land you up to five years in prison. Also in Idaho, conservative lawmakers have introduced legislation to ban all mRNA vaccines, like the ones that were used to fight COVID, though the sponsor of that bill did recently update that legislation, striking a provision that would have banned mRNA vaccines for all mammals, which must make house cats happy. I don't know. Republicans are also trying to expand the power of the state over other local government officials. Look down in Georgia. That's where Republicans have advanced a bill that would allow state officials to remove local prosecutors if they don't like the job that prosecutor is doing. And that means if Governor Kemp signs this law, it would allow Republicans to remove Fulton County attorney Fonnie Willis, who is currently investigating Donald Trump for his efforts to overturn the 2020 election. In Texas, Republicans have passed a similar measure, which would deny prosecutors the power to decide which cases they even bring. It would allow state Republicans to force prosecutions on things like abortion or voter fraud, even if the local prosecutors don't think a case is worth bringing. Now, none of these proposals are broadly popular with the American people, but Republicans are pushing them anyway. And they're giving themselves new powers to expand and cement minority rule in the process. The question now is, how do Americans fight back against a tyrannical minority? How do citizens fight creeping authoritarianism that is taking over the states?